I'm George Crump, lead analyst with Storage Switzerland. Thank you for joining us today. One of the things we're going to hear a lot about is the cost advantages of tape. And what we really need to do, though, is dig into the total cost of ownership, the TCO, and really analyze that. To help me with that, I've invited Brad Johns. Brad is from Brad Johns Consulting. Uh, Brad, why don't you talk a little bit first uh, about what you guys do? Well, thank you, George. Uh, I've been in the IT industry for 40 years. The last 12 were with IBM, where I focused really, my major was on storage. As I retired, I've been doing IT consulting. The focus has really been on total cost of ownership and what are the advantages of tape technology versus disk versus cloud. Okay, well why don't you take us through that? I know that you really developed kind of a simple formula. What's the starting point? Well, the starting point really, George, there's really three components that we have to know. Number one is how much data are we going to be storing? The second thing we need to know is how fast is that data growing? And finally, how much are we retrieving that data every year? So just basically our retrieval. If we get those three pieces of information, the model that we've worked working in collaboration with Fujifilm, it'll give you an answer. It says, this, okay, this is how much it's going to cost you for disk storage, this is how much it's going to cost you to put it in the cloud, this is how much it's going to cost you to put in tape. And that allows us to kind of develop a comparison between those three different types of storage media, right? Yeah, actually the tool we put together will provide that that output to you right there on the screen. Okay, so can you give me an example, just kind of walk through some uh, made up numbers real quick for me? Sure, I'll start off with a quick example. Let's say we want to have one petabyte of data, and it's growing at 30% a year, which seems to be a rate that you know industry analysts seem to talk about pretty frequently. And we want to retrieve, let's just say, 24% of that data a year. So basically, we're retrieving 2% of that data per month. We can put those fields in, and what you'll find is the model, it goes through a number of different estimates, and it'll come back and say, okay, this is how much it's going to cost you on tape, and a little bar chart. This is how much it's going to cost you on disk, and this is how much it's going to cost you on cloud. And the surprising thing that most people will find is that the cloud, if you look at it from a five or 10 year TCO perspective, is actually your most expensive option. And is that because of the, just the recurring cost that you're paying for that same petabyte plus the growth every year? And so each year the, the monthly payment, if you will, just keeps going up and up, right? Yeah, well you're raising a good point. So what are we actually putting together in here? So there's acquisition cost. How much does it actually uh, cost us to put the solution in place? Obviously for cloud that's basically zero. For tape we've got the acquisition cost of the tape drives, tape libraries, tape media. For disk it's the disk subsystem. But then you got to look at that, as you said, there's a recurring cost, and that cost for the cloud is going to be the amount of the storage. And then one of the things that's an interesting component for cloud is the amount of data that you retrieve each month actually can be a significant cost component that you don't incur in a tape or a disk storage environment. Right, that those, uh, those uh, famous egress charges that uh, make uh, calculating those bills very complex, right? They, they have, and it's, uh, we've worked pretty closely to try to get a pretty reasonable estimate of what those egress charges are. Um, and it, but it will be a significant component of cost. The other thing I'd bring up with the cloud is one of the things we built into that is networking co network costs are not free. Right. And a lot of the TCO models that I've seen in the industry basically ignore those costs. Yeah, that's a really good point. So there, there is a pipe required to retrieve that data on top of whatever the re egress charges are from whatever the cloud provision. Sure, so there we're talking about the pipe back to the data center. I Absolutely. Guess. Okay, yeah, yeah, and of course the faster it is, the more expensive it is. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. So when you look at that, um, the other interesting component of this is a five and a 10 year TCO when we put together these estimates. So there's actually two sets of bars here. And with the, the longer period, you have to have a technology refresh. So we don't cheat. Uh, we went ahead and said, okay, if you're going to have a 10-year TCO, you're going to have to buy a new technology tape solution, which we include drives and media, okay. figuring that we can continue to use the library, refresh completely the disk storage, and the cloud we've been taking the prices down every year based on what we've seen in the industry over the last year. So, so we try to make it fairly yeah. apples to apples and, and fairly conservative set of assumptions. Okay, and so where can the viewers get the uh, get access to this? So the tool is actually available now on the Fujifilm website. So if you, uh, you go in there and you look for a TCO model, you can find this tool. And we've added some new features to it 
for more complex environments. So if, if there's a fast and easy version, but you can actually now go in and you can customize it and say, well, what if I want to have two copies of the data? So it's not really one petabyte. I want another copy of that, you know, replicated somewhere else. Okay. Well, we can we run a offsite version for tape. We replicate the disk, and we also double the the cost associated with the cloud. Awesome. Well, we'll put that link in our in the notes in the episode notes down below. So, um, uh, Brad, thanks for very much for joining us on the uh, whiteboard today. Hey, thank you very much. Appreciate the time. Appreciate it. All right. There you go. I'm George Crump, lead analyst of Storage Switzerland. As you're doing TCO, there's a lot of things to factor in here. You know, Brad brings up a really good point about egress charges that I think are often left out of the conversation, and of course that networking thing. So uh, go ahead over to that uh, link that we'll have below, and uh, go ahead and run your own calculation and see if it makes sense for you. Thanks for joining us.